Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today in this session we are going to learn how can we do recording in Playwright. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. We can now directly record our tests without having to manually automate them, add the locators, add the scripts. We do not have to do anything manually. We can directly record our tests and this is going to be very easy and I will show you step by step. So let us see a demo. Now before we do this we should already have playwright and uh, playwright browsers installed that simply means that we have already run this command playwright pip install playwright or in case you have the pytest playwright that is also fine and then playwright install so this we have already done in the earlier session but just showing you so that you know that these are the prerequisites now let us go to our project and open the terminal or open the command line and go to our project location so you can either manually open command line and go to your project location or we are using VS code so I'm just opening VS code and since the last sessions we are using this project in VS code so this is my project I will open terminal I can go to view terminal or I can also say control plus backtick key okay and this opens terminal on the on my project folder so you should go to your project folder on the terminal or command line and let me also uh, activate my Python environment that I have been using so I will say environment name activate and it is scripts and then activate so this I am on my environment so don't worry about all these things this all we have uh, covered earlier so I am just on my project folder on the terminal and then I will run the command playwright code gen now you can use this command along with some URL and it will open that particular URL or you can directly just use this playwright code gen and run and this will open the browser along with a playwright inspector window so let me just run the command playwright and I will say playwright code gen so code gen is the utility that we use for recording in playwright so when you run this command you can see we have got a browser window and we have got this inspector window okay and you can see from here you can toggle the modes dark or light okay and here you will see we have all these options record etc now if you see something is already there you can clear it because it may be coming from some earlier recording okay now we can use this browser window for recording and along with that you can see some actions that we can use while recording so let us first record I am taking this uh, demo website from orange hrm and I will do a login using these username and password so I will put this URL here and hit enter and you can see it is it has gone here and you can see this recorded here as well in the uh, inspector window so you can see this is getting recorded now let us say I go here to the username and I say admin and go to the password admin123 so this all is getting recorded you can see all this is getting recorded here okay and then I click on the login button I am not sure the login button is not visible but yes it is finding it maybe it's not visible uh, we can you know start along with the link in the code gen command but that's fine for now let us continue it's logged in and I will go here and click on log out and all this is recorded now you can see here is a button which says pick locator so if you just want to get some locator you can click on this button pick locator and then select an object or a look or any element and you will see that will copy the locator here in the locator so you will see the locator is here and you can then copy from here so we have a copy button here okay so you can copy it from here then 
after that let us say you want to uh, assert visibility of some particular element so let's say I will go here and click on this assert visibility and click here and you will see a script will get recorded with expect assertion that this should be visible okay then we also have option for asserting the text so if I go here and maybe I'll again click here and you will see it is saying assert that this element contains this text you can also edit it if you want and if you think this is fine you can click on this accept button and this will again add this script here okay then we have option to assert value and also assert a snapshot okay so you can use all this all will get recorded and once it is done you can click on this stop recording button from here or from here okay now our recording is done now we have to copy this scripts into our project so for that you can see here we have library target library and here you can select what language you want for example do you want to see this in pytest or junit we have node.js .net all that let us go with pytest and you can see this is done you can just copy from here or you can also select and copy and then go to your project and you can create a test file so i am going to my tests folder i will create a file i will say this is test underscore i will say recorded rec one dot py and i'm just going to paste my recording here so you can see everything has come here i now don't have to do anything manually all the objects are recorded all the scripts all the test actions everything is recorded okay so we are able to record our actions and it has recorded our objects as well now to close the inspector window you can just close the inspector window and the browser window both or you can just press ctrl c on the terminal so if i go on the terminal you can see it is still running if i press ctrl c it will close the browser window and the inspector window or you can manually also close both of them and this will come out and now we are ready so let us now try to run it so make sure you have saved and now i will say pytest and i will go to the tests folder press tab and then i will say test underscore r test underscore re and press tab and hit enter and let's see so it opens the browser and goes to the websites website and yes it is doing everything and it is passed okay so this is working fine now we also have an option to directly save the recorded actions and all your, our recorded scripts directly into a file so we can use this command we can say playwright code gen give a url so this i i can show you again that if we want we can also say playwright code gen and we can directly give some link so it will open the browser along with that particular website or link so you can see this time it has opened google.com and we can then continue our recording okay so you can do this way as well all right and along with that you can also select the target platform or language and say iphone o and give the location of your script where you want to save it so when you run this command it will directly save your recording into a test file that you have given here okay so you can try this and for this particular target we have python and other options so we have options for python which is synchronous asynchronous python you can use this python async then we can use javascript as target typescript java c sharp okay so we can use all this in the target here so this is how we can do recording in playwright i hope this was very useful i will see you in the next session Thank you for watching and never stop learning.